Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another edition of Phil's Monday Movie Review. I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad that you're here. And for this week's video, we're going to be doing things a little differently. Uh, since this week is Christmas, I figured, why not make a video about some of my favorite Christmas movies? And uh, I have a list here. And uh, Christmas, which is this Saturday, I believe... And if you don't celebrate Christmas, hey, that's all cool too, but um, I celebrate Christmas, yeah, sure. I'm more of a Halloween guy, but Christmas is, is cool, and uh, Christmas is a time where me and my family, we throw on some Christmas movies, and some I love, some I kind of skip, but today we're going to talk about some of the movies, the Christmas movies that I love, some of my favorite ones, so, uh, you know, I got this. I figure since it's Christmas time, why not get a little festive? So I'm gonna put this guy on here. I don't have uh, a Santa hat. I did, but I lost it um, in an Uber. And uh, I don't have any ugly sweaters. I have a scarf that was given to me for my birthday recently. Thank you, AD and Karina. I got myself a little drink that I made right here. This is the Commissioner. This is based off a Batman cocktail recipe book that Savannah gave me. Thank you very much, my darling. I love it. Hang on one second. Mmm, that commissioner. This is called the commissioner. This tastes exactly like what Commissioner Gordon would come home to after a night of dealing with Batman's shit. So, anyways, let's get down to some of my favorite Christmas movies. Starting with a, a, a traditional one. This is one that me and my family watch every year around this time of the year, around the holidays. Uh, fun fact, we actually just watched both of these earlier today, so I have them fresh in my mind. And that is Home Alone 1 and 2. So that is Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Home Alone 1 and 2, I love it. It's, uh, it's a family classic. I believe this is America's holiday movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think Home Alone 2 Lost in New York is America's holiday sequel. So, um, yeah, this movie's awesome. I love it. Uh, I think the cast from Macaulay Culkin to Catherine O'Hara to Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, these two guys, some of the best antagonists you'll ever find in a movie. This duo, the chemistry between those two was just fantastic. And of course, the music by John Williams. When you, you can't talk about Home Alone 1 and 2 without talking about the music. And um, I'm a big John Williams fan. So, of course, John Williams just goes all out, pulls the heartstrings when you listen to, uh, when you watch the film, especially in the third act of the, of the last movie when Kevin is finally reunited with his mom. The music just goes hard. And you're just like, ah, oh, man, you feel it. You feel it in your soul. You truly, truly feel it in your soul. Let's see what's next. Gremlins. I love Gremlins. Gremlins is a fun film. Uh, it's an 80s classic. It's got some amazing puppeteer work. The uh, I also like the theme song. The din, 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 It's fun. It's fun. It's uh, Gremlins is a fantastic, fun holiday movie to watch with the with with your family. It's cool to watch it with friends having some drinks, playing gremlins in the background, or you can actually invite your friends over and just throw on gremlins and you're going to have a great time with gremlins. I love it. A lot. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, yeah, I'm going to be one of those guys and say that Die Hard is a Christmas movie, of course. I think the debate for that is over, I believe. I hope, because it, it was getting annoying after a while. I remember, like, on the days of Facebook, people would just argue, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I was one of those people who was like, yeah, Die Hard's definitely a Christmas movie. What are you guys talking about? So I think we have all agreed. I think we've settled, you know, that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I believe Die Hard changed the game for action films, for sure. Um, before Die Hard, we had these big muscular dudes who was just taking on armies of people with machine guns and missiles, Die Hard presented something fresh, something new. A smaller guy, who's not a hulking, muscle-bound dude, and he fought terrorists barefooted. So, 
that's, that was, I don't know, back in the 80s, that was something different. Okay, let's keep going. What's next? Uh, okay, now, speaking of muscle-bound uh, dudes, I think it's time that we have a discussion about Rocky IV. I'm not sure if the mass, general mass of people, of, you know, film fans have brought this up yet, but I'm bringing it up now. Rocky IV is a Christmas movie. Um, this movie is something that I tend to throw on around this time of the year, for sure. Um, I love the Rocky franchise, and I'm excited for Creed 3. I cannot wait for that. But Rocky IV definitely deserves a spot as one of my favorite Christmas movies, for sure. It's got montages. Uh, Sylvester Stallone ends the Cold War with boxing. So, that's always good. And uh, yeah, it's just and it's just a fantastic ass film. Savannah just told me that she's never seen Rocky IV, and I'm telling you right now, I can't express my excitement to show her Rocky IV. I cannot wait to show her Rocky IV. I'm very very excited. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is probably one of my all time favorite uh, Christmas movies of all time, and that is Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. What can I say? Um, I wish I had it here with me, but it's at my mom's. But I actually have a Turbo Man doll from like 1996 or 1997, whatever year this movie came out in. I have one, and I am proud. I like to pull it out every year like it's something like uh, that I just bought. It's like a Ferrari that I own or something like that. But no, it's a, it's a Turbo Man doll, and I own it, and I'm very happy with it, and I'm going to... You know, I'm going to hold on to that Turbo Man until my dying days. I just love that thing. But Jingle All the Way is not just one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger films, but it's actually one of my favorite Christmas films also. Uh, it's got excitement. It's got really good laughs. Phil Hartman, rest in peace. Like, he was a gem in that film. Sinbad was great. And uh, the part, um, oh, this thing is starting to fall off on me. All right, here we go. Get it together. Get it together. Here we go. Uh, one of my favorite parts in the movie is, I don't know, there's something really cool about when they finally put the Turbo Man suit on Arnold and thinking that he's the actor that's going to be portraying Turbo Man at, at the parade. I think the part when he's like elevating into, into, the, into the float and he's just shocked, but he's like, holy crap, I am Turbo Man. I really like this scene. And there's also this really cool guitar riff at the parade. I always thought that guitar riff was so cool. I don't know who that guitarist is, but he was shredding that Turbo Man theme song. So big shout out to the Turbo Man parade guitarist. You are a man amongst wolves. So Jingle All the Way is a family classic, and it's one of my personal favorite Christmas movies. I know that movie like the back of my hand. I've seen it so many times. I could, I know it word for word from It's Turbo Time to Put That Cookie Down Now to um, everything. <laughs> that movie is just fantastic. I love that movie. All right, next on my list, Eyes Wide Shut. Now, this is probably the darkest uh, Christmas movie I got here. Eyes Wide Shut is a Stanley Kubrick uh, classic. Someday I would like to make a Phil's Monday movie review just on Eyes Wide Shut alone because this film is great. Uh, this is one of my favorite Stanley Kubrick films. It's actually his final film before he passed away. Uh, I think Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman were fantastic. The story behind all that is just dark and twisted and sinister and mysterious. And uh, it's just a film that I like to throw on around this time of year. You know, when there's when all the other Christmas movies are fun and jolly and family friendly, it's nice to throw something completely 180 uh, around this time of year. So eyes wide shut for sure. Next on my list. Oh, and this is, I'm saying, I was saving this one for last. Oh, I got some honorable mentions, but I was going to save this one for last. And that is Batman Returns. I think Tim Burton directed the hell out of this movie. If you look at Batman 1989 and Batman Returns, they're, you would never have guessed that they're both directed by Tim Burton. When it comes to Batman Returns, I feel like Warner Brothers just let Tim Burton go full Tim Burton with this thing, and um, it shows, and I kind of dig it. It fits the vibe a lot. It introduced 
me to how dark Christmas can really get. And, um, I, you know, and ever since then, to me, that was like the first dark Christmas movie that I've been introduced to. Not just because it's a Batman film, but, but because if you just look at the movie, look at the aesthetics, look at Penguin right here in this shot. Batman Returns is definitely a movie that I throw on every year around Christmas time. Uh, it's a film that I just love to watch. It's got really cool action, really good music by Danny Elfman. Uh, Tim Burton just went all out on this, and Michael Keaton's Batman was also fantastic. Yeah, he kills and stuff like that. I I get it. I get it. A lot of people complain that Michael Keaton kills. You know, I can make a whole video about Michael Keaton's Batman, but uh, I can't with this one, all right? Because I don't want to take up all the time because we got a few more movies to talk about uh, in just a little bit. So, Batman Returns, one of my favorite Christmas movies that I throw on every year. Um, I've been, uh, fun fact about Batman Returns, it's the first movie that I actually remember seeing in theaters as a boy. That's, I think that's my first movie theater experience was Batman Returns. I was probably five years old. So Batman Returns, I specifically remember going to the movies with my mom and dad. Um, and I remember being very, very excited. And yeah, I was like five years old. But anyways, anyways, Batman Returns, my favorite, my personal favorite Christmas movie of all. That's that's my top one for sure. That's my top favorite Christmas movie ever. But I have a few honorable mentions. Now, we're going from one Tim Burton movie onto another one. And that is Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, the reason why it's an honorable mention is because I've seen this movie so many times that I think I am legit sick of it. <laughs> With all the other movies, I can watch every year and not get tired of it. I've been, I've been watching Home Alone since childhood every year around the holidays, and I can still watch it now as a 35-year-old. I just watched it earlier today, and I sat and enjoyed it. But when it comes to Nightmare Before Christmas, man, I am tired <laughs> of these songs it's, it's fun to show it to my niece you know she 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 seems to enjoy it so that's cool but anyways on to the next movie and that's love actually uh love actually every year i try to hate this movie because it's just not up my alley but i just can't help but enjoy it um i enjoy love actually i think it's yeah it's cute it's corny but I can't help it. I, I actually enjoy it. <laughs> I think my favorite characters uh, in this movie was the boy who learned uh, how to play drums for the girl. Um, I thought that's just a really cool story. Another honorable mention that I have is Scrooge with Bill Murray. Um, the reason why it's an honorable mention is because I just, uh, it's a cool movie. It really is. It's just a movie I just don't see a whole lot. I haven't seen that movie in like 10 years. But Bill Murray rules. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? All right, and A Christmas Story. A Christmas Story, here's another one. Um, it's a cool movie. I understand there's a sequel that just came out on HBO Max. I have no intentions in watching it, but uh, the movie is cool. It's just been like at least 20 years since I've seen um, A Christmas Story, but I remember watching it a lot as a kid, and I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. I thought it was a really cool story. I laughed a lot. Next one, Krampus. Now, Krampus, I'm a big horror fan. I love Krampus. It's a good movie. Um, it's just, I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm in the minority here, but it doesn't have like a whole lot of rewatchability, in my opinion. It's, a, it's not a movie that I can watch each and every year. Yeah, it's funny. Me and Krampus have a weird relationship, but I appreciate Krampus. It's a really cool movie. If you haven't seen Krampus, definitely watch it. And the last of the last movie that I'm going to be talking about, and this is the last of the honorable mentions, is Ron Howard's The Grinch. Now, this movie is tiring. <laughs> uh, I like the movie. Uh, it's cool, but if it wasn't for Jim Carrey, I probably wouldn't even be bringing it up. Like, it's like over at least 30 minutes too long. And uh, there's a second half, or I'm sorry, there's a second act where I it just loses me. And I'm just like, what's this movie about again? 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a fun movie it's to throw on with a family, but that's about it. But Jim Carrey's back must really hurt for carrying this film. I'll watch The Grinch one year, and I'll wait like three years to watch it again. That's kind of the relationship I have with that movie. It's not that I don't like it. It's just a movie that's just overwhelming, I guess is a word you can say. Well, we did it, guys. Those are my favorite Christmas movies that I like to watch around this time of year. But I would like to know what are some of the movies you like to watch around this time of year. Let's talk about it. And be sure to tune in next week where we talk about another movie. But until then, thanks for stopping by. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. And Merry Christmas.